How do we get rid of stubborn stains on clothes? Stay tuned to find out. We remove tough stains with washing powder that contains enzymes. I'm Lo, and today we are talking about chemical composition of the cell, with a focus on enzymes. Enzymes are also used to tenderize meat, to clarify food juices, and to make cheese. So, what are enzymes? Enzymes are proteins. Let's talk about proteins. Proteins are complex organic compounds that contain the elements carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. All proteins are made up of subunits called amino acids. Amino acids that can be produced by our body are called non-essential amino acids. Amino acids that cannot be produced by our body are called essential amino acids. These amino acids must be obtained from our diet. One of the main functions of protein is to form enzymes. Enzymes are biological catalysts that speed up biochemical reactions. Enzyme action is highly specific. For example, the enzyme amylase only acts on starch. This is because every enzyme has a specific active site. Only a substrate with a complementary shape can fit into the active site. The properties of enzymes are Enzymes are not changed or destroyed at the end of the reaction. Therefore, enzymes can be used over and over again. Enzymes are needed in small quantities only. Enzymes are sensitive to pH and temperature changes. Each enzyme will only function within the narrow range of pH. Enzyme activity increases as temperature increases. The rate of reaction reaches a maximum at the optimum temperature. However, at high temperatures, enzymes are denatured. Let's try some questions. Figure 8 shows two similar T-shirts, X and Y stained with blood. The T-shirts were washed by using enzyme-containing washing powder at two different temperatures. Explain the results of washing the shirts at 40 degrees Celsius and 70 degrees Celsius. 4 marks. Blood stains contain proteins. Protease in washing powder digests proteins into water-soluble amino acids. That's how clothes get clean. Most enzymes in detergents have an optimum temperature range between 30 and 40 degrees Celsius. Therefore, enzymes are most active at removing stains within this temperature range. 70 degrees Celsius is higher than the optimum temperature for most enzymes. Therefore, enzymes denature at this temperature. So the answers are At 40 degrees Celsius, shirt is clean. 40 degrees Celsius is the optimum temperature for enzyme activity. Therefore, enzymes are most active to remove the stains. At 70 degrees Celsius, shirt is not clean. 70 degrees Celsius is higher than the optimum temperature. Enzymes are proteins. Enzymes are denatured at 70 degrees Celsius. Let's try another question. Enzyme P was extracted from a bacterium found in alkaline hot springs with temperatures up to 85 degrees Celsius. Which of the following conditions is likely to cause the fastest denaturation of these enzymes? A. Dissolve the enzyme in a solution and keep the solution in a water bath at 85 degrees Celsius. B. Store the enzyme in a freezer. C. Store the enzyme in anaerobic condition. D. Dissolve the enzyme in a solution of very low pH. The keywords in this question are alkaline condition and 85 degrees Celsius. So, a is incorrect. B is also incorrect as the enzymes are inactive but not denatured at a low temperature. Denaturation of enzymes is not affected by oxygen content. Hence, C is incorrect. A solution with low pH is acidic. This enzyme works best in alkaline conditions and will be denatured in acidic conditions. So, the right answer is D. Remember, biology is easy to understand if you relate it to real life. I'm Lo, and I'll see you in the next episode of SPM Top Tutor Biology.